You pick up the sign, so this is just to let me know. If you don't attend to me, immediately, I'm gonna go on a full-on meltdown. Good morning, Authentic Mental Health community, and welcome to the very first episode of The Depressed Dad. For some of you, you probably already know, but I am now a dad. Woohoo! Or should I say, oh dear, my life's over. It's not really over, but you are going to see in The Depressed Dad what it is like being a first time dad, what the struggles are like, what it's like being a father, what I have to go through and how it affects my mental health. That's the whole purpose of The Depressed Dad. So any of you out there who are expecting a baby for the first time or any of you out there who are suffering from any mental illnesses and you're expecting a child, this is what it's going to be like. This is raw, this is uncut, this is unedited, this is no BS. This is what it's like being a dad who's depressed. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Hello baby, can you say dada? You say dada? <gasps> say hello? You say dada? Say hello? Say good morning? <gasps> You're holding on to dada? Good morning. You had your milkies this morning? <gasps> oh. Oh, careful of your head, baby. You in a better mood this morning than you was last night? Screaming, weren't you? <gasps> yes, I was. I'm so cute. But I make such a loud noise. I poop a lot. And I eat a lot. Yeah. So what we're currently doing right here... is what we call tummy time. Well, I don't call it tummy time. That's what somebody invented. Well, obviously she's on her belly. Oh, and I haven't said, it's a girl. If you haven't already guessed by the pink flowery dress, which is all the way from England, so thanks, Mum. Say thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma, for sending me this from England. Looks cute, doesn't she? Can you guess? how old she is. I want you to comment in the comment section down below right now your guess as to how old my daughter is. But back to the point, this is called tummy time. And we try to do this in 10 minute sections three times a day. And we prop her up on this U pillow here. So obviously her head's not completely into the mattress so she suffocates. At least she's propped up here. And the whole point is for her to use her legs. Look at her little feet. Oh, oh. And her arms. Now she's been in this for about seven minutes now and she's getting a bit fussy. She'll let us know. Well, she'll let me know when she's had enough. Look at her face. Say hello. Do you think that we look alike? Here's baby. Here's daddy, baby, daddy, baby, daddy. Baby and daddy together. Do we look alike? Everyone says she's the spitting image of me. I'll put a photo up on the screen now of what I looked like when I was her age. Do we look similar? Let me know in the comment section and down below right now. She's had enough of tummy time and this is the struggles, right? I'm gonna show you something absolutely Hilarious right now. Well, you'll probably think it's funny not for me But when I'm with her obviously I have to look after her like there's nobody else here my wife's at work I have to take care of her for the day, but there's times when you need to you know go to the toilet Have a number one or a number two But how can you do that when you've got a child? Let me show you a little trick because obviously I can't leave her in the bed by herself, can I? Like, you just, you can't do that. So this is what I do. Okay, you ready? You're gonna find this funny. So here's the bathroom, here, like this. Here's the toilet, okay. Me, toilet. Me sitting on the toilet. And then, 
where's the baby? Where is she? I don't know. Have we lost her? Has she crawled away? There she is. But where is she? She's here. She's here. In her stroller, like this. Daddy's on the toilet doing his business, you know. And then baby's here. And this morning she was hungry when I needed to go. So I was feeding her with one hand like this. And, you know, doing my business. So there's tip and trick number one for you. If you need the toilet, whilst you are the only parent in charge, bring her in a stroller, sit on the toilet, and feed her if she starts crying. 10 minutes later, eating her bubba. Our baby likes this rocking movement. I think because when she was inside mommy's belly, we bought one of those exercise balls. There's one on the screen right now, so you can see what I'm on about. And towards the end of the pregnancy, my wife would bounce on the ball because the doctor actually said it could help push along the pregnancy. So at this stage, my wife was in a lot, a lot of pain. I can't even begin to imagine the, the pain that she went through. In future videos, my wife's going to come on here and tell you exactly what it was like to give birth, to be in labour, what it was like from start to finish. I'm also going to make a video on, from a dad's perspective, what it was like watching my wife give birth. Some people say it's disgusting, other people say it's a miracle, other people say it's beautiful. I would say it's a mixture of all three put together, but we'll save that for another video. This is the cutest thing ever. She holds on to your fingers. Your baby holds on to your fingers. She's screaming, I don't know if you could, well, I say screaming, that's nothing, trust me, that's just like a little. <laughs> She's just letting me know. You pick up the sign, so this is just to let me know. If you don't attend to me, immediately, I'm gonna go on a full on meltdown. This is what she hates. She hates being picked up and put in her car seat. You'll see. We ready to go, baby? You ready? Sorry, love you. Oh, riding the bicycle again, are we? We are now ready to go. Okay. We're in the car now, and as you can hear, she's screaming. And this is the worst part. When you're driving and she's screaming, she's either hungry or she's gone to the toilet, but there's nothing you can do about it. And it's so upsetting that you can hear her screaming. We've just got in the car, but usually after driving for about two or three minutes, she'll go to sleep because the bumps in the road and the movement, she likes the movement. So, let's see if that's the case this time. I hope she's okay. Poor baby. This is what a dad's car looks like. This is all from this morning. This was the last of the water that I made to use her formula. We've got coffee there on the floor. We've got some pampers for her. We've got some vitamins. Not for her, that's for my wife. We've got some breakfast that I just had and some breast pumping kits here, that's my wife. This is all from the past hour. Don't worry, it doesn't stay like this. And don't worry, she doesn't drink from this water, it's empty, it's normally in the back, but I only have two hands, I can't do everything. So I just chuck everything there so it's easier for me and I get to take care of the baby. I'll see you in a bit. Mm. Oh, I need that to wake up. This is like my third cup of coffee today. McCaff from McDonald's. Have any of you ever had McDonald's coffee? Wouldn't recommend it. It's not great, but I need it.
this is the hardest part of the day when you're knackered knackered and you can just fall asleep like this <gasps> oh I was recording sorry well, that was fake but you know what I mean when you're really sleepy but she will not sleep look at her you can see her there look that little face look at that face oh she won't sleep we've had a long day this is where it really starts to affect you and affect your mental health when you're sleep deprived she won't sleep you didn't sleep the night before and it's unlikely you're gonna sleep tonight or any time for the next 25 years thanks babes but thank you say thank you for watching say thank you thank you please give the video a like and if you're new here make sure you subscribe to authentic mental health for the next episode of the depressed dad episode two we hope you liked episode one take care and pray for my daddy because i'm not gonna let him sleep tonight no we want to hear your thoughts yes you who you're watching because we're both going to read the comments both of us so you better comment for her because she's going to be reading every single comment and if there's not at least half of the comments saying oh i'm so cute then there's going to be trouble take care guys and girls and i will see you all in the next episode of the depressed dad